joined in studio by a friend of the show, Dr. Annette May. She's been with us before, and she brought Dr. Rita Marrero. Got it right there. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, we're talking about an educational monthly series that you have going on. It's free to the community and really provides a lot of vital information. So, Dr. Annette May, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about it. This month will be the first month that we're offering this, and it'll be at our office. So it's going to be this Friday, the 25th of January at 1 p.m. And really, it's sort of an open house, so they can get to know the practice, question and answer. We'll probably present something that's pertinent for the month, okay. and then open it up for questions if anyone has questions, health questions that they want. Sure. And it's good yeah. for you know the public to become comfortable with expressing themselves when it comes to any questions related to their health. And I know you have a range of topics that you're going to be discussing during these monthly educational forums. So tell us a little bit about the one this month and those to follow. Uh, well, cervical can cancer prevention. We will be discussion, discussing um, pap smears, time, timely pap smears, continuation of pap smears, and um, HPV, the virus that causes cervical cancer. Um, in the future, we can talk about any gynecology issue, um, STDs, pregnancy issues with one of our other um, fortes, and um, you know, all the ranges of pregnancy. And this is a comfortable space yes. for women to be able to discuss some of these issues and ask you some very pertinent questions. I understand this is going to be the first Friday of every month, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this month it'll be the last Friday. That's okay. If it started in February, it'll be the first Friday of every month. Excellent. You know, why did you all feel that there was a need to have something like this? I guess this open dialogue for people to be able to ask these questions. Was there, you know, just a demand from some of your patients, or how did that come out? There is a demand, and you know, a lot of people feel more comfortable when it's not the patient-doctor relationship happening. It's just an open forum for them, so they may feel more comfortable raising their hand and asking a question, or not even raising their hand. Or maybe someone else might ask the question, right. you know, exactly. so then that exactly. question can be answered, and then they don't feel as self-conscious right. to talk about that. Well, we thank you all for coming on the show. We're going to put that graphic one more time so people can get the information about um, where this is taking place, January 25th, 1 to 2 p.m. Again, this will be 